Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now here we are back at the orchard, continuing on with our poop, um, house, high tunnel, whichever way you want to call it. Now what I've done, you can see behind me here, is I've finished off all my hoops running through. Now remembering it's um, 4.9 metres wide by 15 metres long. I've put my plinth boards in on both sides and I've put my first top horizontal support right there. So a few things that I've noticed along the way is that although we needed to make sure that all the measurements were sitting true, it's important that you do double check everything because what we found is that some of our hoops were a little bit twisted and bent and we had to bring them back into shape. So when building your own, I think there's a few things that you need to sort of adjust along the way. It's not just, right, we're gonna put up a hoop. There's a lot of tweaking as you move, start moving through. So what I'm gonna do now is continue through with my main support bar running through the middle. I'll get all that right. And then I'm gonna start putting on my horizontal supports We've got another one sitting here. We've got another one sitting here. And then what we're gonna do is start preparing that for our Perspex rather than the plastic that a lot of the others have. We thought we would go down the line of having something a little bit more permanent. So let me get back to it. I'll come and find you and I'll see you soon. All right, so here we are. Now, I couldn't help myself because I needed to know if my little experiment was actually going to work. I've put up a few sheets, or one sheet I should say, of my Perspex. Now, what I needed to work out was from my main ridge bar coming down, I needed to find my support um, angles and everything else for the flexibility of the Perspex. Now, what I've found here is that this is where my join is on this um, support rail here. And then I've got one here as well. So what I have is a 2.1 cut perspex to this um, support bar and then I've got a three meter coming over the ridge. Now I needed to make sure that my curves and everything else were going to work because yes the manufacturer did say to me that we would get the curve that we needed but you know it's like one of those sort of things where are we really going to get it and guess what it actually happened like I'm stoked. So what we have now is I've put the first run through. I wanted to make sure how everything sat. And there's a few tweaks that we're gonna to have to do along the way. And what I am noticing is that with our support bars going through, we do have to tweak a little bit as we go onto every hoop. Um, what I'm finding is that the material, which is the inch galvanized pipe, has got flexibility in it. And so with the main ridge bars going through, I can then maneuver that to make it all nice and true and plumb. And that's just a, an ongoing process as you start going forward. So what I'm gonna do is put on a few extra more sheets now, just to see how it's all going to sit. Cause I've only got that one on like I mentioned before. And there's already a few things that I'm seeing that I hadn't planned for. So little things like I'm gonna to have to go on every second rise of the corrugation rather than every third. Um, and that's because of the softness of the material. So there's look at, like I said, there's a few things that will have to be tweaked along the way. I'll get that sorted out. I'll let you know how it's all coming together. I'll put a few extra on. I'll come and find you and I'll see you soon. Alrighty, so here we are. We got rained out yesterday. So we've had a bit of a, a sort of time delay here, but as you can see, it's coming together really, really well. We've worked out our system, and what we are finding is that every single, or every second ridge on the corrugation on the um, polycarbonate, that's the perfect sequence to go through. And that gives you that structure that you're, really, um, that you're really chasing. Now you can see here, I've got some high ends. So I've still got another sheet to come in here, which goes under and over and continues on and that all gets pinned. But I've run out of screws, I haven't calculated properly. 
where are we? We're about a third of the way down. So I would think hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll have this all sheeted up. I'll get back to you at that point then, and we can go from there. So I'll see you soon. Okay, so check this out. We've finally finished. Ready to rock and roll. I'm standing here just inside the, the hoop house now, and you can really feel like it's humid in here. It is amazing, even with the end being open. So just as a, I tell you what, I'm so excited. I need to take you for a tour. Come with me. Check it out. I'm super, super pumped about what we've achieved here. What are we looking at? Two, about 2.5, something like that as a height. Just under five meters wide, 15 meters long. So what I'm thinking is that along one side, we'll have some raised beds. The other side raised beds as well. I will start using this as um, a nursery for a lot of the um, seedlings that we'll be raising here. Cherries and peaches and, and all the other fruits, olives, lavender, we'll, everything will be propagated in here. I'll, I'll end up making some benches all the way through here with mesh. We'll have a central corridor for raised beds. And I'm thinking that what I'll do is I'll have to make some sort of an attachment and that, that'll all come with time that maybe some climbing vines, beans and peas and cucumbers and zucchinis and, and everything else just as a bit of an experiment. So what I need to do now is work out what I'm gonna do with my ends. The concept being is that I'll have a central door and on both sides, I'm gonna have um, windows, windows that sort of open and close. And I will find some sort of um, temperature sort of gauge that will automatically open windows. I'm sure there's something like that in the market. That'll be the same for the far end. What we will do is introduce a watering system in here so that we can have that on a timer. We'll run that again with a, um, another C-Flow um, diaphragm 12 volt pump. We'll have that set up. Mate, it's just endless, absolutely endless. So what we've got is, this is just really the start of the journey. So what we'll do is we'll leave it at this point now. I need to work out what I'm gonna do about my ends and we can go from there. So all about using polycarbonate, as our skin for our hoop house, greenhouse, high tunnel, whichever way you want to call it. Mate, it rocks, absolutely rocks. And I tell you what, we've had some pretty good um, rain over the last few days and wind hasn't moved an inch, hasn't moved an inch. So I'm absolutely stoked. I think that it is worthwhile going through that little bit of extra effort and frustration. Don't forget the frustration, putting the skins on but I think that for something a little bit more permanent, it is certainly the way to go. Absolutely the way to go. So, all about, I don't know, what do we call this? Phase three of our high tunnel hoop tunnel. Um, putting our skins on. Fantastic, mate. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.